It was a rainy second day on the 2017 Georgia Tech Summer Tour, but that didn't put a damper on things. We hit three more stops Tuesday on our 970 mile trek across southern Georgia. It's not an, uh, an understatement to say we wouldn't exist without Georgia Tech. Our company was really birthed out of the, the research done at Georgia Tech. Our first visit was Optima Chemical, a company being led by President Gene Williams, who's bringing plenty of high-tech jobs to Douglas in Coffee County, Georgia, and bringing more Georgia Tech grads like himself back closer to their old stomping grounds. I, I went to school in the 70s. There was not opportunities like this available, so many of our best and brightest after graduating from Tech had to move away, or certainly not back to the rural communities they came from. And for us to be able to offer professionals in engineering and science a chance to stay home um, and contribute in the communities they were raised in, uh, it's, it's very satisfying to be, able to, to be able to do that. And it's great for our communities because that's the strength of the community is the people who live in it. Next, we rambled on to downtown Douglas, which just happens to be the home of former Georgia Tech President Wayne Clough. And this might have been our largest ever event in nine years of Georgia Tech summer tours. Yep, you're right, that's no hands and President Bud Peterson behind the wheel of a self-driving tractor at the Georgia Peanut Commission, where we rolled in for our second stop of the day in Tifton, Georgia. I've been at the Peanut Commission as executive director for 31 years, and in that 31 years, this is the first time that we've had the president of a major university to visit us. We, we grow half of the U.S. peanuts right here in Georgia, so it's big business. Peanuts grow from New Mexico to Virginia, uh, but half of them here in Georgia. It's really important to our economy. Dr. Peterson also helped plant a peanut seedling, which will provide a good Christmas present. It'll be ready to harvest in December. One more evening event on day two with alumni and lawmakers in Valdosta, and we're halfway through our journey. Stay tuned to Georgia Tech social media and our news center for more updates from our 2017 summer tour. Thank you.